Well, hello everybody and welcome to Vinyl Treasures. I'm your host, Johnny G. John Galindo, coming to you live each and every Saturday only here on Top Shelf. Always want to welcome you to the September 23rd, 2017 Vinyl Treasures Show. Glad you can join Johnny G on this nice day here in New York City. Actually a tad humid, but really nice weather here. Got to thank Lady Linda for filling in last week. I was at a concert, dinner and concert with uh, my sweetheart, Barbara Moreau, and uh, we had a nice time. We really did, and her back is getting better. Yes, it is. She's almost 100%. Maybe she's 99.9% back, and that's good to hear. And it's, I'm glad to be here to sp spin original vinyl 45s out of my collection. And uh, we opened up with a group called the Ebb Tones from October 1961 on the port label at a New York City. I rarely feature early 1960s instrumentals on the show but uh, in the future I will be doing more now this used to be a favorite of a Pittsburgh disc jockey Mad Mike those of you that were tuned into the Pittsburgh PA music scene back in the mid 1960s might be familiar with Mad Mike's Monsters segment where he featured garage rock surf music and wild instrumentals that would get the listeners moving now he would also write on his 45s he would say like great radio or great teen tunes I know that because I got a lot of his records in my personal collection and that was one he used to play quite a bit from October 61 the ebb tones on port with a song called Ram Induction. So Giant G has given you the induction. That is enough of my babbling. And let's start it off here. We open up the vocal portion with this act out of Long Island, New York. Actually, many of the groups on this label, Acme Records, were from the Long Island area. And it's a debut single for this 12-year-old lead singer along with his three brothers, Albert, Danny, and Wally Lath Lanham. Lanham, and two other members. They were known as the Temple Tones. They did not get mentioned on the label, but this is their debut single from January 1957, 12-year-old Richard Lanham. Richard Lanham on Acme to open up the show, a song called On Your Radio. <laughs>
used to hear that one quite a bit on oldies radio here in New York City. On the Acme record label, William Henry Miller's Acme label, January 1957 release for 12-year-old Richard Lanham on your radio. Cool tune there. For you collectors out there, first presses should have the uh, word radio spelled incorrectly. You know, they uh, phonetically used to spell, back in the late 1950s, it's spelled R-A-I-D-O, Rado. That's how they spelt it on the original presses, and they later on they fix it with the later presses. And also that record reissued around 1961, Times Square Records, Slim Rose, very instrumental with getting that one a lot of airplay again. Jai G here for a Saturday evening, glad to be back. Thank you, Lady Linda, for filling in, and uh, got some uh, nice... Nice responses for Linda filling in for Johnny G last week. So they want to hear more of Lady Linda on Saturday evening. So maybe that will be in the works. But let's continue here with more 45s. I love this next group out of Baltimore, Maryland. I feature many of their singles here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. They recorded eight for Herman Lubinsky's Savoy label. Their biggest hit was their debut single going way back to 1950, a song called I Will Wait. But let's give a listen to their Seventh release, written by the lead singer. His name is Larry Harrison. Larry Harrison, and it's with Hal Singer and his orchestra. We go back to an early one from March of 1953. These are the four buddies, the four buddies on Savoy. This is the A-side, a song called Ooh, Ow. <laughs> It tickles me to hear you giggle Thrills me to see you wiggle Makes me want to do the thing Ooh, why, why, ooh, ow Now you know that you woo me No one else can move me You make me feel so groovy I cry, ooh, ow Ooh, ow that Barbara was telling me for about a month, but no more, thankfully. But those are the four buddies, March 1953. Larry Harrison on lead on Herman Lubinsky's Savoy record label. That's the seven of eight on Savoy. Ooh, ow, is the name of the tune. Giant G year for a Saturday evening spinning original vinyl 45s out of my collection. Any of you listeners out there, did you go to the Allentown PA show? I think it was today. Would love to have gone to that show, although I'm a little bit short on cash or extra cash, as I would have to bring quite a bit when I used to go to that uh, record show. But I always found records off my want list, so I recommend that show for you collectors looking for some, uh, looking for those wants. They usually show up there.
here. They really do. Sometimes it's amazing. So let's continue here as we move into 1954 with some great West Coast rhythm and blues by a group you all know, known as the Robins. They got their start back in 1949. They were known as the Four Bluebirds on the Excelsior label. Then about a month later, they uh, became the Robins with releases on the Score label, Aladdin, Savoy, Regent, recorded in Hollywood, Modern, RPM, RCA, Spark, and others. Now I'm featuring a 45 on the Bahari Brothers Crown label. I posted this one up on my Facebook wall. And uh, with this release, they spelled Robins with two Bs. It looks really weird. And at the time of this release, July 1954, they were officially signed to a Lieber and Stoller Spark label, but the Bahari Brothers intentionally used the different spelling to differentiate, I guess. But anyway... This is the intended B-side of the 45. It features Grady Chapman on lead. This in July 54, the Robins on Crown, and their tune called Key to My Heart. Oh, baby. You got the key. You got the key. So, baby, please, I'm on my knees. Those are the Robins. The whoops, <laughs> Jaji losing his touch here. July 1954 for the Robins. The Robins on the Crown record label. Key to my heart. You heard Bobby Nunn in there, the bass, and of course Grady Chapman on lead for that one. Give you the key to the no humidity basement every Saturday from 10 to midnight right here on Top Shelf Oldies. Let's continue here. We move into 1955 with a group from Miami, Florida. They had four releases on Henry Stone's chart label, and they would often tour with band leader Sonny Thompson. He was the house band for Henry Stone on the chart record label, at least the early sides. He was also has released his instrumentals on the chart label. But here's the B side of their first release on the chart label back to August of 55. They're called the Champions, the Champions on Chart, and their tunes called Keep a Rockin'. <laughs> So long, fine. When I, I love you, baby, I know. 
Scratchy, <laughs> scratchy 45s and all, though not really scratchy, just a rough press there. Those are the champions, August 1955. That's the B-side to their first release on the chart label. Keep a Rockin' is the name, and I think it's called Annie's. It's like one of those Annie uh, related records on the flip side there, which I think pretty not not really a bad record there, but uh, that Annie side, but I like that rocker better. John G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. Got a flu, a flu, a few flip sides from the prior Vinyl Treasure Show. Now on the last Vinyl Treasure Show, I featured the B side of this uh, debut single by this group from Buffalo, New York. Uh, it was on Herb Dexter's Beach label. The song was called Cozy with Rosie. That was the intended B side. It featured Danny Cannon on lead, who would later on record as Lenny O'Henry. But that was the B-side, so let's give a listen to the A-side, which features a bass lead, the bass of the group, and his name is Charles Hargrow. And this one's from August of 56. They're called the Vibra Harps, the Vibra Harps on beach. The name of the tune is called Walk Beside Me. Beside me and use your love to guide me. Oh, oh, baby, please walk beside me and hold my hand. Hold my hand. Say you love me. Till we reach promised land Each step, each step, each step of the way For your love, I'll, I'll pray I'll pray that you will love me too Love me to the 
beside me And our love will always be Our love will always Always Be Be That's from August 1956. They're called the Vibra Harps. The Vibra Harps, that is the intended A-side of the 45. Walk Beside Me is the name of the tune. Came out on the Beach label, B-E-E-C-H. And uh, Charles Hargrove's on lead for that one. That's a 45 I bought from Louis Silvani many, many years ago with his Times Square Records. And this group would have two more releases on the Fury. I think another one on the Atco label. Then Charles uh, Hargrove, he went solo. I guess we can... I don't know, we can't really say solo, but he did. He had a record uh, that came out on Bobby Fonville and Ralph Fernandez's dab label. Actually, the owners of the label uh, wrote a, to the tune for him on dab. And uh, really, I think the Vibra Harps are backing him up. And we're going to feature that record right now. And uh, this was probably recorded at the same session back in August of 1956 because the Vibra Harps are probably doing the background vocals. This is from February of 59. And uh, this one made it up to number 18 on WBNY out of Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. And this record is documented to have sold about 16 thousand copies in the buffalo area so probably a big hit in a buffalo new york but not national unfortunately so let's give it a spin february 59 charles hargrove on dab records with baby oh baby February 1959 release there, Charles Hargrove. Actually, I think his real name is Hargrove, but he shortened it to Har, Harg, 
guitar grow as John G gets tongue tied here. Baby Oh Baby is the name of the tune on the Dab record label. That was also recorded uh, a year later by Elsie Strong, a nice female uh, rendition of that song. And actually, a thing, a light bulb going off in my mind, a theme song. I know Danny suggested, and it was going through my mind picking records that had bongos in it because I heard a couple over, uh, during the week and I said, well, they would be really good bongo records to play a group harmony show with bongos in it. Another one is only bass leads. That would be another cool show to do. As John G babbles on here for a Saturday evening, let's continue here. I'm actually was surprised this morning my aunt uh, stopped in and she was here actually for a few hours and I was showing her video clips on YouTube of uh, uh, cool performances on Dick Clark's American Bandstand. She does because she doesn't have a computer, so she doesn't know what is available. But uh, I mentioned to her that uh, she needs to come up and do a show with me here on the Vinyl Treader Show one evening. And uh, she's rekindling all these records that she's been listening to. I gave her a bunch of CDs, and she's writing down her favorites. So I'm going to either do a CD for, I'm going to have to do a bunch of CDs because there's thousands that she wants on CD. And uh, we were talking about it. So she was here when she mentioned James Brown. I actually have a James Brown record and I had a few that she, she, was listening i forget what tape it was or what cd i had them on and because she, she's familiar with his tunes you know when he had the big hits during the the mid 1960s but he did some great ballads and some great songs so she was impressed and i figured i paid i play a james brown record you know this singer from uh, barnwell south carolina he had at least 50 top 10 r&b hits during his career he started out on sid nathan's federal label uh in 1956 had about 18 releases on federal between 56 and 1960 before he switched uh, to this sister label, that being, of course, King Records. Now, here is his second release on federal, actually a follow-up to his first release, which was Please, Please, Please. Now, this is his follow-up from April 56. It's James Brown and the Famous Flames on federal, and the tune is called I feel that old feeling coming on. Yeah, 
by James Brown and the Famous Flames, April 1956, released Sid Nathan's federal label for that one. I feel that old feeling coming on. A very cool tune. Love that saxophone in that 45. Unfortunate that we lost James Brown December 25th of 2006. He was 73 years old. Passed away from congestive heart failure. As we remember here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Let's continue here. Got a girl group sound from 1956. These gals, they are from Long Island, New York. Now their debut single was back in 1954 on the Columbia label, a cover of a Shirley Gunter and the Queen's Oop Shoot, but then in 1956 they backed up um, King recording artist Ruth Carroll on her first release, both sides of the record. Actually, both sides are great. Partners for Life and One Honest Love. Now, that led to their second overall release, all their own, on the King record label. They are Eileen, Gloria, Grace, Joyce, and Lorna Hamilton, collectively known as the Hamilton Sisters. And this is the intended B-side of their 45. We Go back to February 1956. These are the Hamilton sisters on King with a song called You Are the One. You are the one to hold my hand. You are the one to of the Hamilton Sisters, February 1956, on the King record label, You Are the One. That is the intended B-side of the 45. I actually like that better than the A-side, a song called, uh, I think it's called Lonely Cabin. Oh, it's a good song, but uh, I like that one better for some reason. John G. here for a Saturday evening spinning original vinyl 45s out of my collection. I wasn't here last week, and the Lady Linda filled in the chair. Yes, she did.
did. So thank you, Linda, for that. And uh, I hope everybody had a good time last week. I had a good time with Barbara, that is for sure. But I'm having a good time spinning my 45s here. And uh, actually, this next record came to mind because uh, Charlene was having some trouble in her home with a couple bugs. So this record came to mind. Yes, it did. For this singer from Cardwell, Missouri, his real name is Jim Burlington. And with his early releases on the Wednesday label, he used his real name, which was Jim Burlington. But then in 1957, he signed with Mercury Records and released three, but changed his name to Jimmy Edwards. This is the first of three. This charted nationally, but only made it up to number 78 on Billboard, number 35 on Cashbox, but a big number three on WCOP out of Boston, Massachusetts. So I got to send this one out to a Charlene because she told me that her house became infested with love bugs and i never i didn't know what a love bug was but it is a real bug it it is so we got to send this one out to charlene it's appropriate it's from october of 1957 jimmy edwards his name it's on mercury records it's called love bug crawl She's got that love bug crawling down my spine Well, I know that she loves me I know that she'll be true But she loves me even more When I, 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 I love you When I love my baby mm, What a thrill When I hold my baby mm, What a chill She's got that love bug crawling down my spine She loves me even more when I, 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 I love you. When I squeeze on my baby, mm, what a time. You know I'll please on my baby mm, all the time. She's a got that love bug crawling down my spine. She loves me even more than I, 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 I love you When I hug my baby mm, What a thrill When I kiss my baby mm, What a chill She's got that love bug crawling down on my spine There you go, that's... Uh... That's Jimmy Edwards. Jimmy Edwards from October 1957 on the Mercury Record Banner, the first of three, called Love Bug Crawl. Now, when Charlene told me about that, I'm like, I never saw a love bug. She says they, like, fly together, and then they die. I says, I don't know. I mean, I knew ladybugs. I said, maybe are they ladybugs? She said, no, they are love bugs. Anyway, we send that one out to Charlene Whiteside. Thank you, Charlene, for all your help on the show. Very instrumental we're helping Johnny G every Saturday. So let's continue here up next. A rare 45 I picked up at uh, one of the all-vinyl Allentown PA shows. Somebody from, I think, Florida showed up, and he had this record, and I kind of scooped it up because I really like both sides of the 45. And uh, it was actually, I think, my first visit there. I think I walked in with about... Five or six thousand dollars in cash into the re- into the record show. Of course, when I left the record show, I had to have my checkbook. I was think I thought I was minus a thousand dollars on my checkbooks. So I think I spent like a total of seven thousand and fifty dollars on that first visit to the Allentown PA show. Of course, a lot of the guys, you know, I'm kind of known pretty well in the record collecting uh, circle. So they said my checks are good. You can talk to 
Barry Saltz about that. He'll take my check any day. But anyway, I bought this 45 then, and uh, unfortunately, it was uh, recorded pretty poorly as we go to Reverend Alfred Crite Mason Jr.'s label as he recorded this in his basement. So, of course, with the poor quality, unfortunately, but both sides of the record are good, as I mentioned, and I recently upgraded this. I upgraded this record thanks to Mr. George Humberton. Humberton. So thank you, George, for that. But let's give it a spin from 1957, The Love Larks on Masons, with a B-side, a song called More and More. B-sides here on the Vinyl Treasure Show, recorded on some tape recorder down in the basement of uh, a, a, a Reverend Alfred Crite Mason Jr.'s basement on the Mason's label there. 1957, The Love Larks, More and More is the name of the tune. That's what Johnny G tries to give you every Saturday night right here on Top Shelf Oldies. So got another 45 here for this group from the Bronx, New York. They recorded two on the RCA subsidiary Vic Records, which prior to Vic was known as X Records. Don't know why they changed the name, though. But this is their second and really the harder one to find uh, versus their first. Now, this group is an interracial group and consisted of three African-Americans, Henry Jackson, he was the first tenor, second tenor was Bobby Higgs, and baritone was Henry Eli, the lead singer. At the time of this recording, he was 13 years old, a 13-year-old Jewish boy by the name of Paul Himmelstein, and we say Happy New Year to all the uh, 
the Vinyl Treasure Jewish listeners and my friends out there. Hope you had a new, a great new year, uh, the Jewish New Year. And Paul Himmelstein's doing lead on this one. We go back to October of 1957. They're called the Heartbreakers, the Heartbreakers on Vic, and their songs called "Love You Till the Day I Die." <laughs> October 1957 there for the Heartbreakers. Paul Himmelstein on lead for that one, the second of two on the Vic label. Their tune called Love You Till the Day I Die. That's a cool tune. Also like their first one, One, Two, I Love You. That's a good tune also. Now, Henry Jackson, who was a member of this group, he was the first tenor. He would later become a member of the V8s on the Vibro label. They do a great tune called My Heart in 1961. I think it was picked up by ABC Paramount Records. Yeah, G here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on all the original vinyl 45s out of my collection. Up next, a group uh, known as Kenny Esquire and the Starlights. Now, they recorded two on Al Silver's Ember label. I'm playing their second. I think I played their first a number of months ago, but this is their second. Now, the lead singer's real name is, is George Tinley. Now, George was previously the lead singer for The Dreams that recorded for the Savoy label. You may know tunes like Darlene, Under the Willow, I'll Be Faithful. But for some reason, when he signed with the Ember label, he didn't want his name to appear as the lead. So he came up, he just made it up. He said, I want to be known as Kenny Esquire. <laughs> they put out 245s. So let's give a listen to the intended B side of their second release on Ember from August of 57. Kenny Esquire, aka George Tinley, and the Starlights on Ember. And the song is called Tears Are Just for Fools. I thought last night are just for fools. the whole night. Tears are just
Al Silver's Ember record label from August, whoops, 1957. Kenny Esquire and the Starlights. Tears are just for fools. Really, Kenny Esquire is George Tinley. And uh, he was previously the lead singer of The Dreams on Savoy. John G here for a Saturday evening spinning 45s from the year 1957. Here's a 45 I was thrilled to find at the Yonkers Raceway Flea Market sometime in the late 1970s. Can't go wrong with finding records like this for 25 cents. Now, it's the debut single for this Bronx, New York group. Now, Antonio Aiello is on lead. We go back to William Henry Miller's Acme label and also uh, the fill-in DJ from last week. She has a tie to this group in some way because one of the members of this group uh, was her stepbrother. I'm talking about Lady Linda, that uh, her stepbrother was a member of this group, Tony Imbimbo, a member of this group, a member of Nino and the Ebb Tides. Actually, this is their debut single. Uh, They were just known as the Ebb Tides. So that's pretty cool, Linda, to find that information out. I would want to chew that guy's ear off for sure about his career. But this is a cool tune. When I saw it in my hand, looking through that box of 45s, we go back to December 1957, the Ebb Tides on Acme. And their debut single, a song called Franny. Franny.
That's the uh, debut single for the Ebb Tides. The Ebb Tides on the Acme record label. That one there, December 1957. Uh, de- uh, <laughs> Antonio Aiello on lead. They later on became uh, Nino and the Ebb Tides with uh, other releases on Record, Madison, and other labels. This one here on Acme called Franny Franny. Remember hearing it on one show, WHBI, I think, FM. Used to tune into all the shows, the Roy Adams show, the night... Um, uh, Ronnie I, uh, who else? The Bobby O and Jive and Joe show. I think I heard it on there. Anyway, cool tunes here for a Saturday evening as John G. Babbles on. Let's continue. And I featured the Royal Holidays on the last Vinyl Treasure show. They were out of Detroit, Michigan. They uh, first recorded as the Quail Tones in 1955. Sax Carey and the Quail Tones on the Josie label. Played the A-side of their release on the Carlton label, a song called Margaret, which featured Vernon Williams oddly. Now that 45 initially came out on the Penthouse label. That's the first way. I have it on Penthouse also, but I have a nice Stoneman copy on the Carlton label. So uh, let's flip it over. Let's give a listen to the B-side of the uh, Carlton release. It's a nice ballad from June of 1958. These are the Royal Holidays on Carlton with a song called I'm Sorry I Did You Wrong. Wait, 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 no good. Bass in the back reminds me of a uh, Channels record in a way. I can't seem to place it, but that's the Royal Holidays. That's the B-side from June 1958. Featured it on Joe Carlton Car- Carlton label. I'm sorry, parentheses, I did you wrong. That's the name of the tune. That's the B-side. Now, they would have a 1959 release, one more on the Herald label, a cool tune called Down in Cuba. Not an easy 45 to find. Jaji here for a Saturday evening. We can 
continue here. Now, in the last final Treasure Show, I played a request for Nikki V. He requested a group known as the Teen Tones. Uh, they were out of Beckley, West Virginia, and uh, he wanted to hear their Decca release, a song called Yes, You May. Well, let's flip that 45 over and give a listen to the uh, B side of the 45. Now, Charlene did some more research on this group and she found some interesting information she found out that the drummer of the group his name is chris sarandon and if you know that name if those of you you movie buffs should know that name uh, he would later become an actor uh, best known for his role as prince humperdinck in the in the the Prince in the Princess Bride that was back in 1987. I didn't see that movie, but I did see the uh, his part in the the vampire he played in 1985 in that movie called Fright Night. I also remember him as that crazy rapist in the 1976 movie called Lipstick, plus other movies he was in. But he was the drummer for this group, and he was also is also the husband to actress Susan. Sar Sarandon. So he was the drummer for this group from, this one goes back to May of 1958, and she also found out that the lead singer of this group is Daryl Peanut Holly, so let's give a listen to the B-side of Nikki V's request. They're called the Teen Tones from May of 58 on Decca. The song is called Don't Call Me Baby, I'll Call You. <laughs> May 1958 release there. That's the B-side for the Teen Tones. The Teen Tones on deck of Don't Call Me Baby. I'll call you. That's what you guys got to tell them. That's what you have to say. Anyway, that's a cool rocker they like with that one there in the top shelf of all these chums. So when you see Susan Sarandon, you can say, hey, Susan, does your husband play with the Teen Tones back in 1958? John G. here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on the tunes here. Let's go back to the girl group sound. This group out of Philadelphia, PA. It's their lone release on Red Schwartz's and Irving Nathan's Red Top label. Although the label is light blue, sky blue, but it's a rare 45 for you collectors out there. The group is called the Charmeers. It feature, features Mitzi Ross on lead. This one from 1958, the Charmeers on Red Top. Their tune's called The School Girl in Love. <laughs>
That's a great girl group sound from 1958. They're called the Charmeers. The Charmeers on the Red Top record label. A school girl in love. Well, John G's just a schoolboy loving original vinyl 45s every Saturday from 10 to midnight right here on Top Shelf Oldies. Let's continue here. Can't tell you much about this group, though. They are known as the Locos. I'm guessing they are out of New York City. It's on the 20th Fox label, actually a division of 20th Century Fox Film Corp, and eventually this record would become 20th Century Fox Records, but they were first known as 20th the 20th Fox label, as I just confused you all. But this is the intended A side of the 45. We go back to May of 58, the Locos, with their tune called Oh Yes, Indeed I Do. <laughs> May 1958, released there by a group called The Locos. The Locos on the 20th Fox label, Oh Yes, Indeed I Do, is the name of the tune. John G here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on these cool tunes. We continue here, and we do another flip side from a couple of weeks ago. I played the intended B-side of this 45, came out on the Wheel label. The song was called Lonely For You. The group was out of... Tulsa, Oklahoma. They were called the Crowns. But let's give a listen to the intended A side. And uh, before we file this one down in the no humidity basement, it features Charles Burton on lead. We go back to November of 1959. These are the Crowns. The Crowns on the wheel label. And usually when you think of a train, you think of it as being fast. This is a train that is going really slow because it's called the Heartbreaking Train. <laughs> Oh, she's not coming back. 
called the crowns they are out of tulsa oklahoma that is the intended a side from november 1959 heart breaking train is the name of the tune as we continue here up next a group from newark new jersey recorded for herman Lebinsky's savoy label first they were known as the gaylords back in 1953 but uh, or at least the lead singer of this record that i'm playing was a member of a group called the gaylords in 53 but they had to change their name because of the pop duo on the Mercury label that was recording as the Gaylord. So they changed it to the Imperials and uh, the group included Louis Van Dyke and he was the lead, I don't know if he was the lead singer, but he was the lead singer. I think he's the lead singer of this song that I'm playing, but um, I don't know if he was the lead singer on those Savoy releases, but he was the lead on another Savoy release in 1955 when uh, he was singing with a group called the Carnations. If you're familiar with a tune called The Angel Sent You to Me. And uh, supposedly he was also a member of the Ambassadors on the Timely label back in 54. That is a That doesn't come out on a 45. That only comes out on a 78 and one that I am looking for, but a great tune. Now, we fast forward to 1959 as his name appears as the writer credit on this 45. It's on Teddy McRae and Eddie Wilcox's Enrica label, and uh, they're called the, Cre- uh, the Carnations. So I'm guessing that he is also on lead for this one. This is the intended A-side. We go back to September 1959, the Carnations on Enrica, and their tune called Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Oh, give me this. Give me this. Give me that. Give me that. Give me what you promised to me. Oh, give me what you promised me, baby. Give me what you promised to me. Oh, my love. You said that you were mine.
It's Johnny G gets caught here. Those are the carna whoops. Those are the carnations. The carnations from 1959. Although it sounds earlier, doesn't it sound earlier to you folks there? Anyway, that's on the Enrica record label. The song called "Gimme, Gimme, Gimme." That's what Johnny G does every Saturday. A "Gimme, Gimme, Gimme" 45s. As you have to excuse me for a moment because I am taking out a. I want to get this next record on a a cd for someone that listens to the show so i have to put this in here i hope it takes as you know these task cam um these task cam recorders can be very temperamental with the cds and this is an this is an old one i bought this one back when i first uh, bought the equipment Uh, i spoke to delana and dave the rave and they were telling me what to buy and i bought this task cam back in 2005 believe it or not oh it just went good so let me hit record whoops let me hit uh let me hit record and it's waiting and uh let's get ready for the next record here and this i don't want you to give you dead air and we're ready to go so here we go right there so there it is recording and let's get back to the music now and uh, i'm sending this next uh song out to listener maria espinoza campboy she once requested a while back and she keeps on reminding me don't forget my songs a song by a group called the dynamics who were really a duo Uh, they were from uh, compton california they were walter alexander and lafayette vaughn now their debut single came out in 1959 on uh joshua uh, tall's Capri label. Now the she requested no. Now the A side of the record was called No One But You and it was flipped with Always I Have Loved You and that was a song I think that she requested. Now uh, this duo, they were managed by KGFJ disc jockey out in the West Coast Rudy Harvey and uh, he was still promoting this duo all the way into 1962 and uh, got an, another release uh, on the dynamic label by this duo that was issued in 1962 it was called darling backed with don't leave me not an easy record to find either then finally in 1964 uh, rudy harvey tried one more time uh, uh changing the name of the duo to the dynamos and re-releasing the a side of the capri release that I mentioned to you, and also the A-side of the dynamic release on one single on the Azusa label. So Maria, even though I don't have the Capri 45, uh, I can play the B-side of the Capri 45 on the Azusa label. And uh, actually, I can play the A-side. I can't play the B-side. I can play the A-side. And I think you mentioned this song too. So I'm going to send it out especially to you because I know you like the L.A. sound, the East L.A. sound. So uh, originally from 1959, but then it was uh, second pressed in 1964 on the Azusa label. First as the Dynamics, then in 64 as the Dynamos. We send it out to Maria. The song is called No One But You. Bumble bow bow, bumble bow bow, bumble bow bow, bumble bow. Who am I?
That's a nice cha-cha there by the Dynamos, a.k.a. the Dynamics there. Originally from 1959, that press 1964, No One But You is the name of the tune. It's on the Azusa label. Now the flip side there is a song called Darling. Originally came out on the Dynamic label as done by the Dynamics in 1962. If you understand that, you are a pro here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. So let's continue here. Let's go to... Chicago, Illinois, for this next group, this they uh, formed out of two earlier groups out of Chicago managed by Bill Shepard. One was called the Bel Airs, and the other was called the Ballads. They recorded for Bill Shepard's Apex label, had six overall releases on this Apex label, and uh, this song was their originally their second release back in 1959, but then it came out as a B-side to their final single the b-side to a tune called tragic but i'm featuring it on their last release on apex this group called the shepherds from december of 1960 and their tune called feel like lovin <laughs> me like this If you feel like loving Come up and give me a kiss One sweet Well, anything you feel Or just what I feel Well, and I never feel like this Well, I've been rocking and a rolling All day long I've been dancing and a singing Singing a song Well, oh, and I know oh, pretty baby In my heart Well, if you get home dancing Nothing can is true. Feel like this Well, I've been rocking and a rolling All night long I've been dancing and a singing Singing a song Well, I know pretty baby In my heart Well, if you keep on dancing Nothing can go wrong Well, you don't have to write a song As we move into 1960 there, December 1960 released by the Shepherds on the Apex record label. That is uh, their tune called their sixth and final release, Feel Like Lovin' is the name of that one. That's the B-side written by group member Millard Edwards. John G here for a Saturday evening got a request for Nikki V. He wanted to hear the B-side of this 45 by this Los Angeles, California group. They were called the Lapels. Now, they recorded two on the Melker label. Now, I'm featuring the B-side of the 45, which is an instrumental version of the a side although you can hear the group in the background uh doing you know making some type of sounds in the background but i i double checked with nikki i said nikki you want to hear the instrumental he said yeah i do so i'm gonna play it i only don't have to feature instrumentals to open up the vinyl treasure show we can also play them during the show so for nikki v let's give a listen to this group the lapels now i don't know if i have a rare press of this because um both sides of my 45 say sneaky blues and it's weird because um 
it's not the same label. It's I don't know if it's a mistake or the first presses of this. It said Sneaky Blues. One side lists the piano player, I think, on the vocal side, but not on the instrumental side. I don't know, but uh, let's give it a spin here because some of the presses are supposed to say Sneaking Around. So I don't know. The instrumental is called Sneaky Blues. This goes out to Nikki V. We go back to June 1960. These are the lapels. By request for Nikki V. That one there, June 1960, featured it on the Melker label, the Lapel's Sneaky Blues Instrumental. And uh, that one there, I know that at least on the instrumental side, it was called Sneaky Blues, but the vocal of mine says Sneaky Blues. And also that uh, Dot Records would pick up this uh, 45 about two months later for national distribution. John G here for a Saturday evening. Let's continue here. Can't tell you much about this next 45. It's on Herman Lubinsky's Savoy label, co-written by the lead singer. His name is Baby Boy Jennings, but a cool song with girls in the background. Round, and uh, it has an all-star lineup on the uh, uh, in, uh, the musicians here playing on this record, this Savoy session. Features uh, Big Al Sears on saxophone, A.B. Baker, he's on bass, Shep Shepard on drums, Wally Richardson on guitar, and Charles Macy, he's on piano. Let's go back to July 1960 on Savoy Records, Baby Boy Jennings and the Satellites, with a song called Going Home. Well, you know I'm going. I'm gonna 
Boy Jennings and the Satellites, July 1960 release on Herman Lubinsky's Savoy record label, Going Home, Going Home, G-O-I-N, Going Home is the name of the tune. John G's not going home, not till midnight tonight as we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Here's another flip side from the last Vinyl Treasure Show. I featured a group known as The Blends on the Casa Grande label. Their cool tune called Now It's Your Turn featured Big John Croft on lead for that one. The flip is a nice ballad. This one from August of 1960. They're called The Blends. And the name of the tune is called Someone to Care. Someone, someone, someone to care He gave me one heart August 1960 there. For the blends, the blends on 
uh, that's on the Casa Grande, Frank Papalardo's Casa Grande label out of Woburn, Massachusetts. Now the group there from Brockton, Massachusetts, the first of two for the blends. It's the B-side called Someone to Care. Jaji cares for the Top Shelf Oldies listeners every Saturday evening from 10 to midnight as I feature original vinyl 45s back to Philadelphia, PA. We go for this next singer. His name is Al Belmont. Al Belmont and this 45's on Joe Ricci's Darrow label one of uh, the duo sites mentions that a group known as Tyrone and the Newports are backing him up on this single and of course Tyrone and the Newports recorded for the Darrow label you may know their tune called Feel Like a Million but when I got this 45 it came with a photo insert uh, that had some cool information on it it said that uh uh, it requested you to join the Al Belmont fan club, and you needed to write into Darrow Records. They are at 950 Tree Street in Philadelphia, 40. 40- 8 PA and they wanted you to enclose 50 cents to cover costs of your membership card and you would also get an 8x10 photo of Al Belmont and all other membership functions so uh, you all had to do that and to order this record and probably to become his fan club but uh, evidently I guess he didn't have much of a fan club but let's give a listen to the 45 from 1961 his name is Al Belmont it's on Darrow Records. It's a song called I Just Gotta Have You. Doesn't that song remind you of uh, Ron Holden's Love You So a little bit? Maybe. Nino, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Al Belmont. Al Belmont from 1961 on the Darrow label, I Just Gotta Have You, is the name of the tune. Let's continue here. And earlier I played the debut 45 for the Ebb Tides on the Acme record label. The group was out of the Bronx, New York. Now here's a request for Cheryl Morgan. Thank you, Cheryl, for your emails. Much appreciated. If anybody wants to email, Johnny G, send me an email at vinyltreasures at aol.com. Now, Cheryl wanted to hear uh, the first of three for uh, Nino and the Ebb Tides on Larry Utal's 
Mr. Peacock label. And uh, this one from October of 1961 featuring Antonio Aiello on lead. He is Nino. This is Nino and the Ebb Tides, especially for Cheryl Morgan. The name of the tune is called Wished I Was Home. Over the sea, that's where I'm going. I'm in the Navy because of you. Well, I wish that was home. Wish that was home with you. Request for Cheryl Morgan, October 1961 there. Nino and the Ebb Tides, the first of three they recorded on the Mr. Peacock record label. Their tune called Wished I Was Home. As we move on here on the Vinyl Treader Show, this next song became more popular in 1988 versus the year it originally came out, which was back in 1962. Now, when uh, this was featured in the John Waters movie, if anybody saw that cool movie called Hairspray uh, for this group out of uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, more people listened to this song that watched the movie than probably when the record came out, as I said. Now, this group recorded two for the RCA record label. This is their first. It charted number seven on both Billboard and Cashbox, but was a big number four, big number four on WCAD out of Baltimore, Maryland. It features Frank Bonarigo on lead. We go back to June of 62. They're called the Lafayettes, the Lafayettes on RCA, and their tune called Life's Too Short.
1962 there. Those are the Lafayettes. The Lafayettes on the RCA record label, the first of two, uh, with uh, Frank Bonarigo on lead there. Life's Too Short is the name of the tune. And uh, I need prayers for my friend uh, Spence Wooten. Didn't hear. Uh, I saw some uh, terrible news on Facebook today. And I'm thinking of you, Spence, and I uh, hope everything turns out right. We're praying for you. Yes, we are. John G. here for a Saturday evening spinning original vinyl 45s out of my collection as we continue here. Supposedly, this next singer, he is out of Texas. His name is Jack Moore, and here's a tune that he wrote. It came out on the uh, Trojan label, and uh, the copyright says this record is from September 1961, so that's where we're going to date this one. This, let's give it a spin. His name is Jack Moore. Jack Moore on Trojan and a song called Bad, Bad Blues. <laughs> September, whoops, September 1961 release there for Jack Moore. Jack Moore, that's the intended A-side, came out on the Trojan label, Bad Bad Blues. That's the name of the 45. Now, he has other releases on the Cap Rock and Capri and other labels. I'm going to play the flip side next week. Actually, not next week. Actually, in two weeks, because next week is my all 60s show, but definitely two weeks for Charlene. We will play the flip side of that 45. John G here winding down on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Two more 45s to go before we sign off here. Can't tell you much about this next artist. He goes by the name of John Price. This appears to be his lone release on the big top record label out of New York City. I'm playing the intended B-side of the 45, a song that he wrote. It was produced by someone by the name of Tommy Griffin with the, the Freddy Future Orchestra. We go back to May of 62, John Price on big top and a B-side, a song called I'll Never Let Her Go.
That's a pretty cool tune there from May 1962. His name is John Price. John Price on the Big Top record label. That's the B-side of the 45 song entitled I'll Never Let You Go. That's going to do it for Johnny G and the Vinyl Treasure Show. I want to thank you for joining Johnny G, listening to original vinyl 45s out of my collection. You want to get in touch with me, send me an email at vinyltreasures at AOL.com. If you're digging on the tunes, any requests, and I've been looking for a lot of requests, so uh, be patient, folks. Johnny G will get to them, and uh, we're going to get this show up on my archive. It's the You can stream or download the shows. It's vinyltreasures.net. You can go there and tune in anytime you want to stream or download the tunes. Also been recording it on the Ustream broadcaster. We'll post it up on my YouTube site. So for those collectors out there that like to look at the original labels, see the record spinning, you definitely will enjoy it there. And uh, that's going to do it, folks, this evening. We're going to close the show um, with a uh, group out of the Bronx, New York, uh, this vocal quartet. Now, the lead singer is a Facebook friend of mine. I'm sure you will all know this group's biggest hit. It was a tune called Remember Then, and it was first recorded uh, back in 1961 for the Rome label, but then they were signed by High Weiss and his Old Town label. They had seven releases on Old Town, and here is their fourth and it features a Larry Chance on lead. This one charted number 50 on WISH in Indianapolis, Indiana. It was also played here in the New York area. Actually, both sides of this record. I like both sides of this 45 a lot. The closer tonight's from August of 63. Of course, I'm talking about the Earls. The Earls on Old Town with their tune called Cry, 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 which is that is what Johnny G is doing, unfortunately. For some sad news that I heard today. But anyway, uh, that's going to do it, folks. Please tune in tomorrow evening for my buddy Dave the Rave and his Relics and Rarities show. He'll be on from 9 to midnight right here on Top Show Foldies and all the cool DJs that are here Saturday e- uh, Saturday evenings, the uh, starting at 8 o'clock uh, during the week. Some cool uh, DJs that play all types of music, but uh, great sounds here on Top Shelf Oldies. That's going to do it, folks. want to thank you, Charlene, for uh, helping me with the uh, show again today, as you always do. I want everybody to have a sa- safe and happy week, and I'll be here next Saturday at 10 p.m. with my all 1960s show, 1964 and later. I can't believe it's the end of the month already. My goodness, as time flies. Yes, it does. That's going to do it, folks. So just want to say, everybody, so long. Cry, 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 do it, 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 cry, 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 do it. I lost my own true love today. She packed her back and went away. She ran to another guy, so cry. Everybody cry, 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 cry,